Okay, so I bought the setup for the for this install. Um, this is only like a test trial that I did. This is for a um, DCT 450, which is for a Ford. And um, the good thing that Cobra Transmissions gives you this um, note says caution that if you have this type of uh, pin, that it'll it won't work for this um, transmission. The which is a DCT 470 is what Mitsubishi has. And if you can see here, I'm gonna take off this spring. The only reason why this won't work is because if you, if you see these, um, this retainer, so you have both of these retainers and you can see already the size. Now, if you were to use this, um, these, this retainer and you have your spring, which is the OEM spring, and you could obviously see that you it won't fit and you could cause some damage to your uh, clutch damper. And otherwise, so if you're using your original one, you see it's like mostly like a perfect fit. So yeah, so that what that's why um, it's best not to use the DCT 450 um, retainers, and also because of these. Uh, little retainer seals right here. So I have my uh, calipers right here. So this right here measures around uh, 748. And the one for this transmission, see if I can pull it out. So this one right here, So that's a big difference right, right there. You can see it right there. So that's uh, 8.37, 8.38. Now we get the other one from the DCT 450, 7.45. And that is a big difference, especially because of your spring inside. And I'll show you right now. So you have this spring, which is for a retainer. And if I, if I put it in here correctly, you hear it snaps in there, right? Now, I'll try to pop it out. So in this, for the DCT 4, 450, if you try to put it with this springs for the SST clutch dampener, you can see that it wiggles a lot. And especially because of this right here. So there's a gap right there. When you put this in there, you see it's already like a perfect um, fit or a perfect seal right there. And that's one reason why you don't want to use a, a 450 is because of that. Um, so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do on this is I'm just, even though my uh, some of my retainers are um, warped or melted, um, I'm just gonna reuse them on this. But for this part right here that that I have, which is warped, this one I'm just gonna create a new one, just for this. Okay, so we're gonna try to design this little part and make it into a, um, a different type of plastic. It's not gonna be 3D printed only because the 3D printing um, doesn't have a good material, especially because So here's the retainer for the DCT 470 that I made, uh, made out of the material of Peak. And we're gonna install this on the dampener. Okay, so we're getting it ready to install this, all these springs here with the retainers. You can see them up here. Retainers. 
And this is the picture I got from SSP. So it says to cut around um, the edges as I did. And this is what you're gonna have. And then place them together in this order right here. And I'll just put a picture here, that way you guys can see. And the words down here says to reweld the two pieces back together, but be careful not to concentrate too much heat to one area as the plastic internals could melt. And we're gonna try to be careful uh, once we're rewelding this back together. So yeah, let's get to uh, the install. So, <clears throat> it's pretty sturdy, so when you shake it, the only thing you should be hearing are the plastic retainers um, sliding through the springs. This, this uh, retainer right here, that's one right here, here, and here. That's the only thing you should be hearing. Yeah, so we're done on this side, and you do the same thing for the other side, just as it shows on the picture. <clears throat> 